In downtown Srinagar, a city built on the banks of River Jhelum with impressive old architecture, Muhammad Yusuf sits on the stack of wooden planks. Many of these planks have been salvaged from the old crumbling houses of the historic city. For many years, the city expanded on all sides, with new homes being constructed mainly with concrete as residents gave up wood the mainstay of Kashmir's old architectural style. However, in the past few years, many important elements from the old architecture are slowly making a comeback. Yusuf Shops in the Babdam locality is one of the many shops that sell the wooden planks, window frames, window panes and doors that have been discarded over the years. Some of these pieces are sold at rupees 15,000 and the sellers say the demand is increasing as they become sparse with time. Yusuf worked in the Kashmir's handicraft business sector and travelled across India for nearly three decades before finally settling back in Kashmir. An antique collector himself, the remnants from Kashmir's past not only gave him a means to livelihood but also kept him close to his passion. Antique malas chhe algi ka ka interest thawan yus shokin chasa. Sumal tich kena antique mal tich na. Mias kun varia film industry state valen kun me bam ke mazhi ora. Te man kine varia ida. Otra otra has kun me yus margi chhe ak hatak bani mas. Yus margi bond pan. Te mis kun saadas lachas. Yohi paron panjero panjero vaspe. Kashmir's old Indo-Saracenic architecture has been called intricate for its details and resilient against natural calamities like earthquakes. Some elements are considered unique to Kashmir with elements like Taak system, Dajj Diwari, Panjrakari, Burusi and Khatamband inspiring a new generation of admirers in the region. Hakim Samir Hamdani works for the Jammu and Kashmir chapter of the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage or INTAC. It is a non-profit organization that works on restoration and conservation of unprotected historic buildings in the region. An architect who has authored two books including the syncretic tradition of Islamic religious architecture of Kashmir says there is a movement away from cement plastered walls towards brick line pointing, things that gel with the historical architecture. You see it primarily in terms of the residential architecture but you will also see there are certain cases of public architecture wherein whether it's a resort, whether it's a hotel or even a certain government buildings, there is an attempt uh, to sort of recontextualize our historical architecture. So I would say it is again a critical engagement with your past. There are people who are making these efforts at seeing what best they can incorporate from past, how best they can incorporate and also in a certain case within a certain specific budget. Are people who are using different elements uh, within their own residences which in a way speaks of a contemporary modern vernacular architecture which is in terms of its spatial layout maybe the layout is not traditional uh, i mean the layout is very modern because you're used to a newer way of living especially in residences you need your kitchens and you need your dining spaces you need your lobbies which are rather questionable how big and uh, tall they should be but yes there is a certain amount of experimentation i'm not say people as owners as well as designers are coming with some really interesting ideas. This window is from my ancestral house and we got it removed and perhaps installed it in here so that again I was talking about this journey. This when it when you understand Kashmiri design you know that 
like most definitely a lot of designs in jali are coming up now but when you see this you understand it's a kashmiri design kamran wani a hotelier from srinagar has used some of the elements in his cafe which is a blend of the old style and the new he also considers it a means to stay connected to the roots i believe that uh, they is a cliche that old is good not necessarily that but i think it's more aesthetically nice and i believe like uh, the they were never wrong when you understand what the structures were all about and both aesthetically and uh, on the lines of having strengths and on the lines of looking at a facade i believe old structure was nice and perhaps that gave us a reason to go back back in the time and understand and perhaps use the specific materials and designs for a cafe and those became the highlights of the place with growing interest in old architecture among aspiring home builders kashmir's new age architects have also trained themselves to reach out to this potential customer base